Hello and welcome to this um, video on the IUPAC nomenclature of amides. So let's uh, first of all figure out what amides are. Now amides are characterized by the fact that <clears throat> when a carboxylic acid reacts with ammonia and I am writing ammonia as H in H2. The H of ammonia combines with the OH of the acid to form water. And this N gets joined to this carbon. So you get RC double bond O NH2. So the C double bond N bond with R here, this is the amide linkage. Now, this nitrogen is attached to only one carbon here. We call it primary amide or one degree amide. Now, if the N were attached to an alkyl group and an H. Now this N is attached to two carbons. We call it a secondary amide. When it is attached to two alkyl groups, we call it tertiary amide. So now let's understand how we name a primary amide first. When you're naming a primary amide, remember this part has come from the acid. So name that acid first. The acid could be alkanoic acid if it is acyclic. And if R is cyclic, then the acid would be cycloalkane carboxylic acid, cyclohexane carboxylic acid. Now what you need to do is, if it is alkanoic acid, remove the oic acid and put amide. If it is cyclohexane carboxylic acid, Remove the ic acid and put amide. The oic acid goes to amide, ic acid goes to amide and that is how you are going to name the amide. So this is going to be alken amide. This is going to be cycloalkane. Carboxylamide. Carboxylamide. So that is the way of naming amides. So let's check out the rules. The first rule says that primary amides are named by changing the name of the acid by dropping the oic acid or ic acid endings and adding amide. The carbonyl carbon is given the number one location. It is not necessary to include the location number in the name of the amide because we already know that that particular carbon is number one. So I'm going to give you a couple of examples. As usual, when I give you the, uh, the structure, pause the video, name the compound, play the video back and check the answer. So this is... Uh, an amide which contains only one carbon. So one carbon acid, what do you name it as? We name it as methanoic acid. Remove the oic acid and put amide. It is methan amide. And the common name of this is formic acid. Remove the ic acid, put 
sputamide it is formamide so this is methanamide or formamide try naming this one try to figure out the acid from which it has come it is this part so this is um, ethanoic acid or acetic acid so it's ethanamide or acetamide and formamide and acetamide can be used as the iupac name of these particular compounds try this one from which acid has this come from it has come from this acid and what do you call this acid this is benzoic acid so this is going to be called benzamide what is the name of this one which acid is it remember never include this o always so it's a three carbon acid propanoic acid propanamide what is the name of this one now this is 1 2 3 4 5 so which acid is it it's pent 3n oic acid so it's pent 3n amide what is the name of this one now remember this acid is basically benzoic acid but you got the bromos and the chloros so this is automatically one and we give this is two so that the bromo gets three instead of chloro bromo comes before chloro in alphabetical order so bromo gets three and the chloro gets five so it is three bromo five chloro benzamide now let's look at a secondary amide that means there is an alkyl group attached to n so if you have a secondary amide then we need to specify this and we also need to know that this is attached to n so the name goes like this n hyphen alkyl this alkyl happens to be r prime so with this n signifies it is attached to n nitrogen so it's n alkyl which amide is this alkanamide so it's n hyphen alkyl alkanamide no space anywhere try naming this one the so secondary amides are named by using an uppercase n to designate that the alkyl group is on the nitrogen atom alkyl groups attached to the nitrogen are named as substituents the letter n is used to indicate they are attached to nitrogen named as n alkyl alkanamide try naming this one so pause the video check the answer and play it back now there's a methyl here so this is going to be n methyl ethanamide or acetamide so this is n methyl ethanamide or n methyl acetamide name this one so what do you have in n in n you have secondary butyl so it's n secondary butyl 1 2 3 4 5 6 hexa 2 4 dynamide so this is going to be n secondary butyl hexa 2 4 dynamide Now what happens if you have a tertiary amide? You got two people sitting on N now. 
well name them alphabetically first n i'll kill one of them with the one which comes first in alphabetical order so n i'll kill then another n i'll kill and then alkanamide now when you write n i'll kill the next one will have a hyphen again then n hyphen the second alkyl no space alkanamide so this is how you name a secondary amide so sorry tertiary amide a tertiary amides are named in the same way as secondary amides but with two ends and the two alkyl groups on n named in alphabetic order now in case in a tertiary amide the two alkyl groups are same same type so we simply write it as n comma n di alkyl alken amide that is if the two r's are same name this one so that ethyl and methyl are both are on n so which one would come first obviously ethyl so it is n ethyl n methyl ethanamide try naming this one two methyl sitting on n so what would be the name n n dimethyl ethanamide so let's uh, pick up some complicated structures now so that we are able to deal with all types of situations i know it's pretty complicated pause the video now name it and then play it back to check the answer so i'm naming it first of all let's understand what the two alkyl groups called what would you call this one obviously this is carbon number 1 look for the longest chain 2 and 3 so this is 1 2 dimethyl propyl so one of them is 1 2 di methyl propyl so which is the other one this is tert butyl and in tert butyl for look for looking for alphabetic order you need to look at b so tert butyl and then 1 to dimethyl propyl and which one is this the parent the parent will be 1 2 3 4 5 it's pent 3n amide that's the parent and then before that n tert butyl n 1 2 dimethyl propyl etc and since this has numbers with it it has to be in brackets So, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. It's n tert butyl, n hyphen tert hyphen butyl hyphen n bracket one two di methyl propyl bracket close pent three n amide. So n tert butyl. then n 1 to dimethyl propyl and that is in bracket because you got some numerals there you need to distinguish these numerals from the numerals of the parent and the parent is pent 3 n amide so let's check one more and this is much more complicated a very big one i know generally when we look at these structures we would really not want to do them but then we got to do them that is the only way we can check whether we are able to understand all the rules correctly so take your time have patience name it be very careful in naming it and then check your answer
So I'm naming it now. So first we need to get the numbers. So I'm starting with the side chain. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Why did I go in this direction? 7, 8, 9, 10. Because the carbons are less. Unsaturations are same. If I go this way, there are 4 unsaturation. If I go this way, there are 4 unsaturation. Unsaturation being same, go for the maximum number of carbon atoms. So I've numbered the one of the alkyl groups on N. And then this is the numbering of the side chain of that. The other one, the other side chain on N is this. And then the numbering of the parent. First, write the parent. It's hept 2N 5 inamide. So it is hept 2N 4 inamide. Rather 5. 5 inamide. Now what do we have before this? Um, there is a methyl sitting here. No other substance. And there is an isopropyl here. Whereas in this chain we have but. So this is going to be in the beginning. But. So N 6 Buta 1,4 Dinyl And the parent of this, uh, un deca, un deca, I think it won't be deca, it will be, yeah, un deca, 2, 4, 8, tri n, 10, i nil, Then N N two isopropyl three methyl hept four N six I nil and then the parent which is two three uh, 2 4 4 trimethyl hept 2 N 5 inamide. Pretty long name. So check this name once again. Try, try to uh, name this and number it properly and see whether you are able to understand this name. And even after that, if you have some doubts or some questions that you want to ask, please leave them in the comment section below. And I really hope this video helps you in understanding how to name amides uh, using the IUPSC rules. Thanks for watching this video.